Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. First of all, I want to say thank you so, so much to all of you guys that subscribed. I'm so excited. Ah! Alright, there's so much more people joining the family, blah, blah, blah. So I'm happy and whatever, so thank you or whatever. Tell your friends, tell your mom, tell your grandmother, you know, get them on. Tell them I'm going to teach them a little something about hair, fashion. Pretty much I do whatever I want on my channel, you know, so... Anyway, what I'm going to be talking about today is, again, another curly girl method kind of thing. So, some of you guys actually mentioned that you do use shampoos and you want to continue to use shampoos, but you want to use sulfate-free shampoos. So, this video is going to be about sulfates, the ones that are in your shampoo, the common ones to look out for if you're trying to buy a sulfate-free shampoo. So, let's just hop right into the video. Oh, yeah. Alright, so first things first, I'm going to put right here on the screen a list of the most common sulfates that you're going to find in average shampoos. So at least when you go, you have this list. Take a screenshot of it. Do whatever you need to do so that when you're in the store looking for um, shampoo, you can look on the back, see if they have any of these. There's sodium lauryl sulfates, sodium laureth sulfates, ammonium laureth sulfates, TEA laureth sulfates, and sodium myreth sulfates. Alright, so... I got a lot of comments, like I said in the last video that I did, that I said curly girl method, I don't use shampoos. A lot of people were like, but shampoos aren't bad for you, I use shampoos. My yeah. If the question is, are shampoos bad for you and your hair, my answer to that, let me just make the chat say a resounding no. Shampoos are not bad for you. I have nothing against shampoos. If you want a shampoo, do you, boo. Get that shampoo. Put it in your hair, do. Rinse it out and make it do what it do. Bars. <laughs> Why am I even on YouTube, yo? Like, I'm gonna go start my rap career, so I'm gonna see you guys later. It's great. My point is that shampoos are not bad for you. They're not bad for you. I don't, don't quote, don't like bring it to. But Je just like Jesse said, that shampoo is bad for you. But just like Jesse said, that if you use shampoo, your hair will be falling out and looking higgy haga. That's not the case, my dear. I'm not like, don't put that on me. Don't put that on me, fam. Now, if the question turns to, are sulfates bad for you? May the church say, hey, resounding, yes. I firmly believe that sulfates are bad for you, no matter your hair type, no matter your ethnicity, whether you have European hair, Caucasian hair, Asian hair, African American or African black hair. Especially black hair because of the fact that our hair is inherently more dry and more brittle, as much as we like to think it's more strong. No, it's actually more dry, more brittle. And sulfates are something that just dry out hair. So no matter what type of hair you have, it's going to dry out your hair. So unless you're happy with having dried out hair, then I believe that sulfates are bad for you. Everyone, especially if you're using it often. No fam, like, no, 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 honey, no, honey, no. Sulfates are used in car cleaners, engine degreasers, cleaning detergents for your floor, cleaning detergents for your clothes. There's no distinction between these sulfates. Like, there might be a little bit of a difference, but the fact is you're putting sulfates or something that cleans engine grease on your scalp. Huh? Just let that sink in. Just take a moment. Let that marinate. I'm gonna be back when the chicken is fully marinated and plump and everything has sunk in it. Okay, my dear. Okay. So these are some of the reasons why I think that sulfates should be avoided. First of all, they can be potential irritants. They irritate, they can irritate your skin, they can irritate your eyes, um, which is why sometimes, a lot of times, shampoos burn. Everyone knows when you were a kid, like, those shampoos got in your eye. You'd be crying. Honey, you'd be crying. So yeah, they can cause eye irritations. A lot of people actually have allergic reactions to them, but they're so such minor allergic reactions, you, it's not as you know crazy as you breaking out in hives, so you know for a fact, but it does cause minor irritations or slight irritations that you aren't um, seeing increased shedding or increased hair loss because your scalp and stuff is being irritated in such a minute manner that maybe it doesn't, it's not obvious, but it is irritating you. So that's some people, not everyone, so it can cause that as well. It also strips your hair of the natural oils that you have, so the natural sebum that your hair produces, your skin produces, it strips that of that. The reason your hair produces natural oils is because it knows that, in your scalp rather, produces natural oils is because it knows that your hair needs the natural oils. So why would you want something that's going to strip it of that? I don't see the point, so let's just, you know, nix it out, cut that out. I'm so weird. Alright, 
um, sulfates and shampoos also cause tangled hair, causes frizzing, causes matting. So a lot of times when you're getting a lot of this frizz, tangles, matting, it's because of course your hair is less stripped. Um, it's easier for it to tangle. It's easier for your hair to just connect. Um, and I also, I feel like I remember hearing something about like the, um, the positive and negative charges in shampoo. Like shampoo deposits a lot of positive charges in your hair which makes your hair stick together and that's why you use conditioner that contains um, so, um, silicone to give you back some negative charges so your hairs repel and they're like you know easier to tangle I think I think don't quote me on that but I feel like I remember hearing that somewhere so you guys do some research you know tell me tell me down below if that's true or not because honestly I don't know and also the frizziness and all that that um, shampoo can cause can also cause split ends and we all know how much of a pain in the butt that split ends are so if you can avoid that then Oh, yeah. So, of course, I want to give a list of suggestions, some popular brands, maybe some not so popular, but all the ones on my list, I feel like every natural person has heard of, but these are companies that do have uh, natural shampoos, cleansing conditioners, condition I mean shampoos without sulfates. So if you really are insisting on using shampoo, you feel like your hair is really oily, you work out a lot, you have a lot of build up, like you need a shampoo, you need something to lather in your hair, you can't just co-wash the rest of your life. Don't worry! I got you, B. I got you. So, some companies to check out. I'm just going to read off a list because, let's be real, I got a list. <laughs> um, Aubrey Organics, I would suggest. Shea Moisture, obviously. Giovanni's, boom. And Dr. Bronner's. Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap. Now, don't mind the, the dirtiness of this bottle, but this is uh, Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap. It's a regular organic castile soap, does not have sulfates in it, does lather a lot. If you do get a um, castile soap, you can find these at American Apparel, which is odd. I don't know why they have it there, but you can. And you can probably find it in any beauty supply store, like Sally's and this and that. But it's very, very concentrated, so you do want to mix it out, mix a lot of water into it. I haven't quite gotten the formula right yet, and I don't really use this anymore because I just prefer using cleansing conditioners, which I'll show you guys right now, the one that I'm currently using and loving. I'll probably have a video about it, but I'll just show you the one that I'm using. So this is As I Am Cleansing Conditioner, and of course cleansing conditioners are an alternative to shampoos in general. The thing is a lot of them, most of them, do not lather up, so if you really want that lather up like soapy, I'm shampooing my hair right now, and I'm loving it feeling, then I wouldn't suggest a cleansing conditioner. I'd suggest sticking with a shampoo without um, sulfates. Anyway guys, I'm so so happy that you have been subscribing to my channel. For those of you that are wondering, I am Nigerian. A lot of people ask that, like, I'm Nigerian. Um, and that also, if anyone's wondering about this necklace here, don't worry. I'm going to have a link in the description box to where you can get it. Um, this one is called Accra Angel, you know, Ghanaian Kente cloth inspired. Absolutely love this. Check it out. Check out the Instagram. I do have an Instagram. I'm going to link it below. Go and follow me, guys. I thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And I hope this video helped, especially for those people that, you know, really want shampoos in their life. Like, I really did do some research and try to help you guys out, you know. And um, I think, you know, just for anyone that doesn't care too much about the Curly Girl Method, you could just potentially just start getting shampoos without sulfates, you know. Just a, just a suggestion. I don't know. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm going to see you guys in my next one. Do you see? I don't die again.